പ്രൈസ് ദ ലോഡ് എന്നെ കേൾക്കുന്ന എല്ലാ സഹോദരിമാർക്കും കർത്താവിന്റെ നാമത്തിൽ എന്റെ സ്നേഹവന്ദനങ്ങളെ അറിയിക്കുന്നു വി ആർ ഓൾ ഗോയിങ് ത്രൂ എ വെരി ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ആൻഡ് എ ചാലഞ്ചിങ് ടൈം സംതിങ് ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് നെവർ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ബിഫോർ ദർ ഇസ് ഫിയർ ഇൻസെക്യൂരിറ്റി അൺസെർട്ടനിറ്റി ഓൾ അറൌണ്ട് ബട്ട് ആസ് ഗോഡ്സ് ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഹൗ ആർ വി റെസ്പോണ്ടിങ് ടു ദിസ് ക്രൈസിസ് ആർ യു റെസ്പോണ്ടിങ് വിത്ത് ഫേത്ത് or are you responding in fear that is my small message to the sisters today namukku ariyam nammude jeevithil nammude karthav ariyada namukku onnum sambhavikkunnilla he is in control of everything in our life angane engil namukku nammude karthavinodu chodikkam lord what do you want me to learn from this crisis karthave nee endana ഞാൻ പഠിക്കണമെന്ന് ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നത് ഈ ക്രൈസിസിൽ കൂടി എന്നെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുവാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്ന ലെസൺസ് എന്താണ് കർത്താവെ എന്ന് നമ്മൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുമ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ കർത്താവ് നമ്മളെ സഹായിക്കും ഹി വിൽ ഷോ ഇ ടു അസ് ആൻഡ് ഹി വിൽ ബ്ലസ് അസ് സോ ടുഡേ ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ടെൽ യു സം ഓഫ് ദ ലെസൺസ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് കൊറോണ വൈറസ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ദിസ് കോവിഡ് എയ്റ്റീൻ ഇസ് ട്രൈ ടു ടീച്ച് അസ് ഒന്നാമത് ആ ഫ്രജിലിറ്റി ദ ഗ്ലോബൽ ക്രൈസിസ് ഇസ് ടീച്ചിങ് അസ് ഹൗ വീക്ക് വി ആർ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ്സ് ആർ വീക്ക് and they are free in psalms 103 verse 15 and 16 we read life of man is like grass they flourish like a flower of the field the wind blows over it and it is gone and its place remembers it no more manushinte aayisa oru pullu pole enna nammal vaichathu angane aanengil idu nammale ormippikkunnad endanu that we should not take our life for granted our lives are very precious and it's incredibly fragile so we should have an attitude like moses had in psalms 90 what does it say teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom and when your attitude namak undengil we will be humble and we will be grateful also remember sahodari mare we are weak but we are strong in the lord രണ്ടാമത് കൊറോണ വൈറസ് നമ്മളെ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കാര്യം ആ ഈക്വാളിറ്റി ദ വൈറസ് ഡസ് നോട്ട് റെസ്പെക്ട് എനി ബൗണ്ടറീസ് നാഷണൽ ബോർഡേഴ്സ് ഒന്നുമില്ല ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എവ്രി വെയർ ഓൾ ഓവർ ദ വേൾഡ് അതിന് റിച്ച് എന്നില്ല പോർ എന്നില്ല ഫീമെയിൽ എന്നില്ല മെയിൽ എന്നില്ല ബ്ലാക്ക് എന്നില്ല വൈറ്റ് എന്നില്ല ഇറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ്സ് എവ്രി വെയർ എവ്രി ബഡി ഇസ് എഫക്റ്റഡ് ബൈ ദിസ് ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ഐസ് ഓഫ് ദ വേൾഡ് വി ആർ ഓൾ ഡിഫറെന്റ് He differs on that the man is not the groups are made by man but in the eyes of the virus we are just the same isn't it true we are all members of the great human family created in the image of god this virus is teaching us about equality namma karthavu namale padipicha karyam we are all equal ele in our sufferings we are the same in the pain of losing our dear ones we are the same the pain of being excluded isolated and loneliness we are the same namma karthav john 316 we read god so loved the world namma karthave ellavare manas nechathu he came to this universe and he died on this cross of calvary for every human being he loved each and every one of you we read in the word it is very clear in telling us that all men are created equal and every single person can be a child of god receiving the full inheritance of heaven yes that is the te- that is our lord's teaching moonamada ee corona virus namale padipikkuna or important lesson a loss of control man loves to be in control that is his nature because of the technology because of the inventions man can a control his life to certain extent with a click of an app he controls so many things of his life sitting in one place he is able to do many things the, uh, so this technology driven life man was leading and suddenly covid 19 virus has suddenly popped up revealing that this sense of control that man had is an illusion or a bubble the reality is we are not really in control നമ്മൾ ടിവിയിലൊക്കെ കാണുന്നത് പോലെ എല്ലാ ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ എന്ന് നോക്കിക്കുക എല്ലാ എവ്രി കൺട്രി ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവ്രി കൺട്രി ഇസ് പുട്ടിങ് പുട്ടിങ് എവ്രി 
uh, might to control this, contain this virus. But have we succeeded in doing so? Hardly. God is sovereign over all circumstances. He controls everything. Our security in times of turmoil is found in God and God alone. Nalamadu namale idu padipikinna oru important lesson. Our need of God and our need to pray. In the midst of this global crisis, we can also, this man is, uh, weak man is frail na namale kandu. But we can make a difference. There is something we can do. We can cry out to our Father in heaven. And we can pray. Very powerful thing to do. We can pray. We can We can pray. We can pray. We can pray. We can How is our prayer life, Sahodri Mare? Lockdown. God has given us time. So there is plenty of time. We are sitting at home. We can pray. How is our prayer life? The crisis is teaching us what is important in life and what is vanity. It is helping us to distinguish between what is meaningful and what is meaningless. Normally lockdown in Mumbai, we had plenty of time but we have wasted so much of time doing useless things. Normally pala karingalum, meaningful ayat ula karingal, allata karingal, chedu namada samayangal vyartha maakitunda. Anal, e crisis namada padipikin uru karium, we need to do more of a meaningful thing. Namada inna man ne belapadutthana chara karingal, Chayuan, like sitting before the word of God, studying the word of God, sitting at the Lord's feet, listening to him, praying, spending time in prayer. These are all meaningful things that we can do during the lockdown. When the Bible Mary Martha Mary sat at the Lord's feet, but Martha was busy. And when Martha was busy, she complained to the, our Lord that Mary is not helping her. How did our Lord respond to her complaint? Martha, This incident is teaching us that prayer and sitting at the Lord's feet is a very, very important thing to do. Our Lord wants us to do that. Sahodri Mare, how is your prayer life? How do you have an appointment with God every day? How is your quiet time? Do you enjoy sitting at the Lord's feet? Do you enjoy the fellowship with Him? How is your prayer time? This is the time. In lockdown the time, Namaka irindu nammada prarthana jeevitham engane unda enna shodhana jeevitha namaka strengthen jeeya. This is the best time to do so. The fifth uh, point, the fifth thing that this coronavirus, this pandemic is teaching us is the difference between fear and faith. What is your reaction to this crisis? It's easy to be gripped with fear. It's easy to see coronavirus everywhere. You know, it is going to infect us. You know, it, it, there is a fear. We can panic very easily. But this crisis is challenging us to react in a different way. With faith and not with fear. Faith in Lord Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, who is also the resurrection and life. He gives us a blessed and living hope. I want to show you a character from the Bible, a woman who responded with faith in the, at the time of crisis. That's an example I want to show you. That is Jochebed, mother of Moses. Um, Mose, Mosheda, Amma. Mother of Moses is famous in the eyes of God not because she bore baby Moses, but because of her faith. She lived during the time when the people of Israel were going through difficult time. They were going through a very tough time at the land of Egypt. And that was the time when King had passed a decree that all the male babies born during that time should be killed. Asametana, Jochebed gave birth to baby Moses. This was the most difficult time for her. She was a human being, a woman, a mother, just like you and me. She had the feeling, feelings just like you and me. Huge problem in front of her. Her baby's life was in danger. But she did not cry and she did not panic at that time. Instead of manifesting fear and despair, she seemed to have confidence 
and hope. Sahodri so, Maria, I want to ask you, e simple I told you, e confidence and hope, how did she respond with hope and confidence? Yes, it was based on the promise of God in whom she had complete faith. For Jochebed, the God of Israel, the living God, was real, was more real than king of Egypt, telling a pharaoh. She believed that her God, in whom she had put the complete trust, was more powerful and more great than the problem that she had to face. And she believed that the children of Israel would never perish. Because if they perish, it would be denying the very promise of God. She believed that God would preserve Moses and use him for his purpose. This great faith that she had inside, this drove her to act. What did she do? She hid the baby for three months in her house. Huh? And we read in Hebrews chapter 11, 23, that by faith, Parents of Moses hid Moses in the house, not fearing the decree of the king. They did it by faith. Vishwasatal and the Namal Vaikin. Jokabed had abiding faith in the trustworthiness of God's word that it drove her to act. She did not sit down and brood over the situation and cry. She did what she could with faith. God responded to the faith of a mother and God did the rest. Moses was saved from the crisis. And remember, Sahodri Mare, genuine faith has rewards. In Hebrews 11, 6 we read, Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Sisters, during the lockdown, we need not fear and panic, but we need to act like Jochebed with faith in our Lord. What can we do? You have your children with you, family is with you. You can engage your children to strengthen their faith. Every mother can become a Sunday school teacher for the child. You can plan, you know, you can have an action plan. Every day, what I am going to teach my children. You can teach them songs, you can teach them memory words. Remember the memory words that you teach them at this age, they will never ever forget. Yeah, you can tell them stories from the Bible and let it be an enjoyable experience for the children. And the children will learn and their faith will be strengthened. And you know, they will have a beautiful time with, with, uh, with you. Because they, they would love it because it is their mother, mommy teaching them. So, uh, plan your action plan. Every day you plan what you are going to do for your children. And this will strengthen their faith. Bring in discipline in your family prayer. You know, it can be made more meaningful. We have no time to sit at the Lord's feet. Children have got exams every day. They have tuition and all that. Now, there's nothing. We, we have so much of time. We are all sitting at home. The family is with you. You can make this family prayer a beautiful thing. You can sit together and sing songs, praising God and lifting up His name. And the family prayer can be made interesting where children will have discussion. You will have a Bible quiz. You, know, you can make it more interesting for the children. Uh, the family prayer. And th these are the areas that you can you know, s uh, spend quality time with your family. Our Lord is going to reward you, sisters. Every single thing that you do for your family and for your children will be rewarded in future. Remember that. As I conclude, I want you to read a verse from Psalms 46.1. This verse can stabilize our heart. Psalms 46.1 is something which is very familiar to all of us. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. He is a very present help in the middle of this pandemic. He is our fortress. We can lean on him. He alone can give us stability, comfort and peace in the midst of the crisis. Sisters, I want to tell you a truth before I conclude. A secure life is not the one without any problem or without any challenges. Secure life is the one that is grounded on God, 
founded on God and tethered to God. So let's look up to him, cleave to him, love him and trust him completely because he is a covenant keeping God. He will never change. He is always with us in the midst of all our trouble. We are never, never alone. So dear sisters, be strong, be safe and God bless you. Thank you for listening to me.